A difficult aspect of designing the building is to adhere to the local requirements and restraints. The Ontario Building Code is the guiding document to protect residents and neighbors of the building. A central focus of this regulation is life and safety. The code establishes requirements and minimum standards in a building to protect public health and safety, fire protection, resource conservation, environmental integrity, and accessibility. The OBC includes the Ontario Fire Code, which specifies requirements in construction and equipment for fire safety. Materials and systems to deal with fire and smoke are emphasized. The code dictates that 15% of apartments need to have barrier-free access to the kitchen, bedroom, living room, and bathroom. The building code specifies rules for air quality to reduce risk of illness, provide thermal and moisture comfort. It also protects residents against unsanitary conditions, exposure to waste or contaminated water. The role of municipality is to administer the Ontario Building Code. The municipality sets fees, reviews, and issues permits, and inspects sites for compliance during and after construction. In addition to the Ontario Building Codes, there are the Official Plan and Zoning Bylaws. The Official Plan and Zoning Bylaws come from the municipality and can be amended, even for a specific site. The official plan sets objectives. For example, it can specify a mix of home types with access to schools and shops. The zoning bylaw regulates a site for permitted use, such as residential or commercial, sizes, densities, and heights of each property. Zoning describes form, intensity, incentives, and uses. Incentives are objectives of the municipality that it hopes to meet, such as affordable housing, Zoning can be amended and changed by the municipality. The Ontario Building Code is a firm set of rules that can't be changed. Engage an architect early in the process to help you navigate all of this, as they need to review the necessary guides required by the building.